Okay, let's let's do another problem. And maybe I'll reveal now that these problems actually have a greater significance than um, just practicing um, our understanding of what's been defined. Uh, but the significance won't be revealed until later when we um, go into more um, mathematical proofs and and so forth. But um, we, we'll do them now to get get you thinking about them, and maybe you'll. Uh, It'll make it easier for you when you come to the next idea. So the next problem is to show that A implies B is the same as um, not B implies not A. Yeah, so I wrote the brackets just to make sure that uh, you know that the not comes before the implication operation. Yeah, I mean, so at, at this point, it should be pretty straightforward to show these kind of things. Um, so if you have no idea what's going on um, with the actual statements, um, then just plugging in true and false values should be a good way to go. And um, let's think about it. So the left-hand side, we know that the left-hand side is basically true in all cases, except for when A is true and B is false. Okay, so when A is true, B is false, then left-hand side is false. But in this case... <coughs> Um, but in this case, you know, not B, not B is equal to true, and not A is equal to false. So the right-hand side is actually false for the same, it's exactly the same statement. Okay. And actually, you'll notice that the right-hand side is only false under these circumstances, because it's the only way to get... Um, the first thing in the implication to be true and the second thing to be false okay and so in all other cases um, left hand side equals right hand side equals true so yeah so that that's enough to show that as an exercise but um, to get a better understanding of this, it might be better to like um, say some statements. So like um, a equals x is a dog. Um, b is equal to x is an animal. It might it might be easier to digest this with a true statement. So then A implies B is equal to X. If X is a dog, then X is an animal. Um, or another way of saying that is um, you know, if X is not an animal, then X is not a dog. And that's true because, you know, if X were a dog, then X could not have not have been an animal. So if X is a dog, it must have been an animal. It must be an animal. So if it's not an animal, then it couldn't be a dog. So X is not an animal then it is not a dog it or it is x so that's another way of saying um you know if not b 
then not a which is exactly minus b well the negation of b implies the negation of a so it's 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 um it's far from being you know a proof whatever that means of um the claim and certainly nothing not more convincing um than plugging in the truth values the plugging in the truth value seems to be the perfect way to show that the two statements are true but it's more comforting in our, it it relates to something um you can maybe consider intuitive um and it relates to um what you consider to be a part of your understanding so this might be an easier way to remember the claim is true and to understand it okay so um hopefully you enjoyed that we'll move on to the next exercise